I'm Laura. Welcome back to my first actual vlog style video. The other one was like a planned out go through. This one is just what have I been up to? Which, you know, it's only been a couple of hours since I filmed that video. Hence the same outfit. I'm not like cool enough to go change my shirt so it looks like it's a new day. I'm still feeling cozy. While I was going through all of the in progress projects that I'm working on, I um, saw a few spots where I was like, you know what, that part, not a whole project, but that part is so close to being done, I should just work on that. And so I first, I got caught up on the old school block of the month. Um, and this kind of feels like a, a little bit of a cop out because I just used the background fabric and like one of my solids I had for it. But here's the thing, <laughs> I only need one of these blocks and the pattern makes two and I don't need this one. So I kind of picked solids because I didn't want to end up using part of my limited amount of material that I have left for it for a block I'm not going to use. So I just went with a solid. Maybe I'll put this in the back of the quilt or something. And then I also um, had, I finished the other four churn dashes for it because I already had them all cut out and I already had not not just cut out but I had all the half square triangles done I had all of this unit done I had all the middles cut out and then they were just kind of pinched together and I've had them sitting that way for like two months so I finished sewing the churn dashes together which I think are going to end up being cornerstones for um my quilt which there would be Three, six, nine, twelve is two, four, six. I don't need six of them. I think there's seven total. So we'll see. Maybe I'll repeat a few and make a couple more and also put them in the corners, depending on how this comes out. Um, and then while doing that, I got another stack of um my start and stops for my Civil War tumbler done. So I think I'm gonna go work on some more and I will update you with whatever I do later. So when I pulled out my um, in progress stuff and I showed you my end of days quilt with the metallic floral sawtooth ones, I had one block done. But um, I had all of the sawtooths and middle parts of most of the rest of them done. So what I had this morning, what I have now. So. I got all the ones that I have done done and I do have the stuff to make quite a bit more but I only have a little bit of this gray left um so I'm gonna see how many more I can make I'm gonna be able to get like eight more and then I'll see what I'm left with for the center fabric um and then go from there if there's a whole bunch left I might try to find more of this gray if not I might just make it that size and that be what it is and then see if I can elongate it with some of the other scraps to a border of some kind we'll see so that's that was my day today hi so it is june 1st happy pride um which is kind of the topic of what i'm talking about at the moment so this morning while i was at work i sort of got it in my head that i'm not really doing anything for pride this year because one i live in the middle of nowhere and two, with the lingering effects of the pandemic still going on, there's not really anything going on. So I was kind of like, you know what? I think I want to make a rainbow quilt. But here's the thing. I don't like rainbows. I am, I am queer. Hi. Very, very out and proud about it. But I don't like rainbows. They're too bright. And I don't like the... It's not ombre because it's different colors. I just like the rainbow order. It, it doesn't do a lot for me. I like jewel tone rainbows and I like pastel rainbows, but like that standard queer rainbow does nothing for me. So I spent a good time of, a good chunk of my day at work, not working, and looking at um, pride patterns, not pride patterns, like rainbow patterns for a quilt to find something I like. And I just can't find anything that I'm super drawn to do right now. So um, my... Uh, my best friend Amanda, God bless her, was like, well, why don't you finish something that you already have? It's like, haha, <laughs> valid. In my last video that I did, I showed you all my in-progress quilts, and one of those was um, a string quilt that I had, um, I had plans to turn into half square triangles to make it larger um, and only use the red, yellow, orange, and purple blocks for it, because I was a little bit 
we're okay with that color pattern. Here's the thing. I don't like those blocks anyway. So I think what I'm going to do is put all those blocks back in together and make the string quilt the way that I had originally planned to and just call it done. It's going to be baby blanket sized, which I, okay. So I just like throw this together, stick a white border on it and call it done. So that's what I'm going to do. This is what it is, by the way, with all of the colors put together. Um, so it's, it's, it's so uneven because there's like a little corner of warm colors and then like <laughs> hella blue and gray. But, you know, I just I don't feel like working on it anymore. So I might just take Amanda's advice and call it done. Not that it looks any different to you, but an hour later and that is sewn together. I think I'm just going to put a white border on it and call it done. I have some uh, rainbow stripe fabric that I think I'm going to use to make a border and just keep it a real simple baby blanket. Hi, it is June 2nd. Um, I worked all day and then when I got home, I sat right down and I was like, oh, I want to do today's quilt. I'm very excited, um, which is kind of ridiculous because two days ago I was like, I don't like these blocks. I might just get rid of them. I might try to find a way to make myself like them. I don't know. And so I sewed them all <laughs> together. Um, I sewed the blocks together. I got them sandwiched. I got the quilt binding made. I got it all quilted. Um, all I have to do is attach the top half of the binding, which I like to do by hand. And I usually save it for when I'm like watching something because I don't sit still very well. But like, I'm actually like really fond of this now. I have it all, um, all sewn together. I put a little border on it and I have this like rainbow binding, which like, I shouldn't like any of this. I don't like rainbows. Um, I don't even know why I had this fabric, which is funny because it's like a recent purchase. Like I definitely bought this fabric like during the pandemic. Like this is not something that's been sitting in my stash for five years and I'm finally using it. The backing, however, um, is just like this fuzzy stuff that's been sitting in my stash for like Five years. Um, I don't back with this stuff anymore, um, but I have a few pieces of it still in my stash from forever ago. So, so yeah, all I have to do is like hand tack this down and then a little pride baby quilt is done. Um, it's not massive. It's a little bit bigger than a baby blanket, but like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm pretty fond of it now and I wasn't planning on being fond of it. I was planning on just getting it out of the way. And aside, um, my friends and I have a video chat usually on uh, Tuesday nights. This week it got moved to Wednesday nights. And we were all kind of like, is anybody like, does anybody really have anything new to say? Is there anything really to chat about tonight? Do we want to do this? And um, all of my friends were like, I have nothing new going on. I have some work to do. I could kind of use a night off. And I was like, I'm going to be straightforward with you guys. I am watching The History of the American Quilt by Mary Fonz. So if we do a video chat tonight and you guys don't have anything to talk about I'm gonna talk about this for 45 minutes so is that what you want and they were like yeah let's like just not do a chat tonight so I'm like I need quilty friends <laughs> I need friends who quilt who understand how exciting this is um but yeah so that's my night lots of uh Mary Fonz documentary videos and some rainbow quilting that I didn't expect to like hi um, it is June 4th. Um, I didn't vlog yesterday because I was so in the, the oomph of sewing that I didn't stop to vlog. Not that my intention is to vlog every single day, but like on the days when I do get a lot done, I'm trying to. But yesterday I, um, went, I brought, I had my, that rainbow strip quilt that I was working on mostly done and I brought it to work with me yesterday. Um, and finished up the binding on it and let the kids I nanny roll around on it for a little while. But like, I'm super pleased with this. Like, like I went from, I don't really like this. Let me just throw something together to get it done with. And now I really like it. So I also, I got the binding fully done, which is this rainbow fabric with kind of a chunky stitching because I really like, I like chunky stitching on the, um, 
I always do that by hand because I really like the way that it looks. Um, I have washed it and everything. It's, it smells so good. The one thing I haven't done yet is lay it out and find anywhere that maybe some strings are sticking out. But other than that, this one is done. Um, and then I'll just like check this on my bed. <laughs> and then yesterday, what I did all yesterday um, is get the sandwich and the quilting done for a quilt that has been sitting in my drawer for like six months. No, six months. I wish. Six years. Um, I started this as a um, following a quilt along, uh, like a block tutorial that Amanda Rolf on YouTube was doing. Um, and I did like half of the blocks and then just put it away and never finished it. But I wanted to finally finish this. So the quilt top was already done. Um, I finished this a couple of weeks ago, but I wanted to finally just like knock this out, have it be done. And which way is up? I think this is the top. So this is just random blocks and I got the whole thing quilted. I have it quilted um, like an inch and a half apart on the diagonal. Now my original plan was to have it go diagonal both ways, but I ran out of the thread that I, or like not ran out of, but I definitely don't have enough to finish the thread that I used on top. And um, I live an hour away from a store where I can get more. So it's either put it away, almost done, until I am able to get to a city to buy some thread or be happy with just the one-way stitching and finish it up. So I have chosen to just be happy with the one-way stitching and finish it up. So now tonight, my plan is to trim the ends of this, make the binding, and sew the binding on. Um, I don't know if I'm going to actually stitch the top of the binding down yet. Um, like I've said before, I like to save that for like when I'm watching television or have to go somewhere because it's an easy project to bring with me places but I didn't do that with the last one because I was so eager to get it done um and so I might also just try to get this one done ASAP. We interrupt that planning to uh do a very quilting specific job that has to get done um and that is to recover my mini ironing board. Um, this is the ironing board I use when I'm piecing all of my projects. Um, and straight up dudes, I use a lot of starch. Um, and it ruins the ironing board. Luckily it's small, so I just recover it every so often with fabric I don't want anymore. So for summer, we're getting recovered with this. So I'm gonna throw that together so that my quilting is a little easier to iron. And now we have a brand new mini iron for me to destroy. Hi, so it is the end of the weekend and I guess I'm sort of filming an outro. I don't know. I feel weird just having it stop suddenly, but um, this is the end of my weekend. So all I have since what I last posted, what did I do? I ended up finishing the blocks for my sugar bear quilt which I just thought of as I was filming this, so I don't feel like getting them up to show you. Um, but I'll show you that when it's all put together. Um, and I made the binding for another quilt that I'm working on, and I have the binding attached to the back and partially sewn on. So I'm probably not going to finish this tonight because, quite frankly, it's bedtime. And um, this will probably get pushed aside until next week. But yeah. So that was my first week of attempting to vlog. Um, please forgive any weirdness in it. I'm still not totally sure the method that I want to do things in. Um, this will absolutely change as I keep going, um, hopefully for the better. But uh, in the meantime, yeah, that's the end of week one. Thanks for sticking with this. And, you know, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment if you have a comment to leave. I don't know. Hopefully I'll get more graceful with this. <laughs> Hopefully.